in the Wanderer Studio with Amberine Musa of Souk Al Mal. How are you, Amberine? Very well, thank you. Are you enjoying ArabNet? Absolutely. It's been an amazing experience to meet very many different people from different parts of the world, the other entrepreneurs, VCs, investors, and people who are just generally interested in the, in the digital media. So it's been an absolute very good experience. Excellent. And you pitched in the startup demo. How did that go? Uh, well, that was interesting. You kind of never know how it's going to work out and you know how you, you sound or whether you've got your message across. I think it went pretty well. Um, I guess tomorrow we'll find out a bit more. Yeah, we'll find out at the end of the day tomorrow. Yes, so I think it's at 6 o'clock. Good. Yeah. So describe Souk Al Mal to me. What do you do? So SoukAlMal.com is a concept based on moneysupermarket.com from the UK. And basically what it does is allow all the users to search and compare different financial products based in the UAE at the moment. This means you can go online and look for all the credit cards that are available look at what the features are, what the benefits are, that means what's the minimum salary I need to get this credit card, but more importantly, it allows you to see what others think about the credit card. So it's not just about looking at what the banks are giving you, but also what, what do others think, and that gives you a bit more of an idea of is that the right product for me or not. Is it just credit cards? Does it go into other dimensions like mobile banking, payment gateways? Well, it does go into further products than that. So at the moment, we've started with credit cards, personal loans, auto loans, mortgages, and bank accounts. We're hoping to diversify in the very near future, but that would be probably a six months plan into mobile, um, mobile phone payments, broadband payments, plans, insurance, um, etc. But at the moment, we're standing around those five different products. And how do banks respond to this? Are they happy to have the feedback? Do they feel pressure from users' opinions? The banks have had a very good response. For them, we're providing them with a platform to reach the customers. There's been a lot of changes in regulations in the UAE at the moment in terms of call calling. You can't just pick up a list of customers' phone numbers anymore and call them. There's been a lot of more competition. So there are small banks that are coming up and competing with the bigger ones. There are new products every day on the market. And for them, it's providing them a fantastic platform to really get their products out there. And the second thing is uh, the reviews really helps them. It's an opportunity for them to see what's going wrong. It's not that easy to get feedback from customers very often, and it costs a lot of money. And sukamal.com is providing them that platform for free. So they've been incredibly responsive. Until now, we have probably around 70% of our banks who provide us actively their product details so that we can have it very accurately on the site. I see. So it's almost like they're outsourcing the research. Pretty much. <laughs> I see. And how did you how did you get into this business? How did you get inspired to become to start your own company? Um, I think inspiration comes from my dad. I've always I've come from a family entrepreneur. My dad has been in the entrepreneur business for over 40 years now. He started up his own. His whole family has been in entrepreneur business. So I kind of grew up in that environment. I started my first company when I was 21 back in Australia. It was again an online company, which uh, we completed that part and I got back into the corporate world and it's always been at the back of my mind. Um, so it, at this point in time when I came to Dubai, it was the best opportunity. When I came to Dubai, I looked around for actually a credit card and couldn't find one that I, that I could use just because I didn't have enough information. And so the idea has been trotting in my mind for a while and um, last year around June was the right time to go ahead with it. So we started up, tried the concept in the last six months, and now we're going full-blown and um, we'll be hopefully going regional as well in the next four or five weeks. I see. And are you, did you take on investment yet? Not yet. We're definitely on the lookout, uh, but definitely we, ha we don't have investments at the moment. Uh, but we are looking to go through a first round of funding very soon. I see. And uh, where are you looking to expand first? We are, so we've gone to the UAE in the last six months and now we're looking to go to Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, both in Arabic and in English in the next, that would probably happen around mid-April. And how is your reception in those, in those countries as a female entrepreneur? Very interesting question. Um, it's a question I'm still asking myself. So what I did, I've gone to a lot of the entrepreneurs networking sessions and met up a lot with other women entrepreneurs and interestingly enough, most of the women, the answer was it was fantastic. They were very well received in Saudi Arabia, very well received in Qatar, Kuwait, and they had absolutely no issues. And I think there is a myth of if you're a woman, you know, Saudi can be a 
bit of a hard place to go. From what I'm hearing around, it's actually quite a nice place to be as a woman. It's, you're very welcome and you're given the credit you, you should get. Good, good. Well, we want to look forward to hearing Sukal Mall's expansion into Saudi and how that goes. Thank you very much. So keep us posted on it. I will, definitely. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you for having me.